Thanks for joining us today. I'm Don Nelson. Here are your top headlines. Students at Whittier Elementary School are pretty excited. That's because the district officially dedicated the new Whittier School today, and that means a new modern state-of-the-art educational facility with larger classrooms, more technology, and improved safety. In our old building, we had um, a lot of students in portables, um, and a lot of our staff were in portables, and so it didn't really allow for um, ease in community. And I think this new building really allows for ease and community. The new 68,000 square foot two story school features 28 classrooms inside for the kids and an improved drop off area outside for parents. A historic February snowfall has changed the water outlook for farmers and outdoor recreationalists. We tagged along with Rob Rembrandovich for his monthly snow survey north of Idaho City. And he told us the Morse Creek Summit area received 72 inches of snow, the most in the month of February since 1942. The snow water equivalent rose to 128% and most of Idaho is now above 100%, which is making farmers very happy. It's, it's uh, job security. If we know we've got water, we know that we're gonna be farming. So all the news out of here today is just absolutely amazing. Especially those of us that farm uh, water intensive crop, we know that you know, everything's on the table. The Bureau of Reclamation will start releasing water from the Boise Basin Reservoirs next week. And the Boise River through town is expected to reach 1,700 to 1,800 CFS in about a week. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Wow, that snowpack, what an amazing turnaround. It certainly was with 72% of average or 78% of average in the beginning of February, 128% of average at the end of February. All good, at least 100% or above from the north central Idaho to the south with the heaviest snow in the west central and western portions of Idaho, the Wood River Basin at 142% of average. Great news there. Well, let's look at the temperatures and through the day today, we did get back into the mid 40s. Colder air is working its way and touched 50 in Ontario as well as the cold front came through. We had rain this morning. It lasted a little longer than I thought it would, but finally that sun poked through for a little while and made it feel pretty nice. But the Doppler radar has been clearing things out here. 530 rain showers are mostly confined towards uh, Glens Ferry towards Twin Falls. And that colder, drier air continues to work its way in from the north and west. That will continue to slide in from the west, drying us out. See this cloud cover staying down just to the south here? That's important because our next storm system poised offshore here. This is going to move up and pass just south of Idaho, and that will keep snow in California, Nevada, and Utah, giving us a break over the weekend. But this next storm system here will dive to the south and then move back up. And this one will come up to Idaho, bringing a return to the snow in the mountains and then a mix of snow and rain, probably mostly rain, uh, in the Treasure Valley by Wednesday and Thursday of next week. And here it is in the extended forecast, dry weather right through the weekend. A lot of sunshine, a lot of frost each morning as well. Keep that in mind, mostly sunny on Sunday and Monday. Clouds come in Tuesday, temperatures come up to normal. We might start a snow Tuesday, Wednesday morning, turning into rain later today. That's that stormy pattern, uh, at least a storm returning for Wednesday and Thursday of next week. I have posted some uh, posts on my Facebook page to show you just how much water we've had, how much rain fell in February close to an all time record for Boise. You can see that on my Facebook page and some other posts as well of some of the epic snow that we've had. I'll have updates here on our local weather coming up just a little later this evening.